Welcome to Crojo Corner, the home of the Crochet Project Planner. Go to crojocorner.com and you will see all the different varieties that I have available. In today's video, I will be doing a walkthrough of two different crochet motif books. Now, these are great books and they have a lot of neat ideas and they're very colorful. So I recommend that you stick around until the end to see all that they have to offer. And I will make sure that I link both of these books down below in case you want to get a copy of your own. The first book we're going to walk through is The 75 Floral Blocks to Crochet by Betty Barnden. Now it says beautiful patterns to mix and match for Afghans, throws, baby blankets, and more. I really like this book. It's very thorough and has a lot of great ideas in it. And it kind of breaks it down here in the beginning. And over here, it shows you the different techniques and block sizes and checking your gauge for your blocks because you want them all to be the same size. And it gives you the abbreviations and the symbols and it tells you how to read a ball band and how to read a chart. And then it gives you some directions on how to work in the round, how to weave in your tails, and how to finish your projects. I really like this section because it tells you how to lay out your motifs once you have them all made. So if you want to make triangles, this is how you'll lay them out. Diamonds, this is how you can lay them out. Or you can also lay them on their side like that, so on and so forth. And this tells you how to join them and how to put an edging around your pieces once you're done sewing them together. And here are some great border ideas. Aren't those pretty? That one's really neat. And that one is beautiful, so ornate. And this talks about planning a project. It talks about color theory and what colors look good with each other. And then it talks about how to arrange your pieces according to the color and the size and how to construct your project. Now, this is the part that I really enjoy. This is the directory of blocks, and all of the blocks that you will see are in this book, and they all each have a pattern included in the book. So look at the jonquil triangle, daffodil hexagon, daisy chain square, spring meadow hexagon, primrose square, shamrock triangle, crocus square. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's a lazy daisy, swirling hexagon, snowdrop. Oh, that's really beautiful. King cup diamond, tulip square, buttercup circle, filet flower square, violet triangle, blossom square, lily triangle, rosette circle, dandelion diamond, intarsia petal triangle, bobble square, Bobble flower hexagon, dandelion circle. These are so beautiful. And here's a guy blue section. And you've got geranium triangle, windflower triangle, clematis diamond, coral flower circle, cornflower hexagon, three daisy square, large flower hexagon, star flower square, butterfly square, four daisy diamond, Irish rose square, popcorn flower circle. That's gorgeous. Embossed flower square, McElma's daisy triangle, spiral windflower hexagon, bobble flower circle, and here's some beautiful summer pinks, Spanish poppy square, frilled flower hexagon, color work hexagon, aster diamond, floret triangle, granny rose square, old French rose hexagon. Wow, there is a lot in this book. Look at this. Rosebud square, penny flower circle. That's gorgeous. Granny Rose Triangle, Busy Lizzie Hexagon, Butterfly Circle, Fuchsia Square, Floral Circle and Garland Hexagon, Wild Rose Hexagon, look how beautiful that is, Loopy Flower Hexagon, Coral Trellis Square, and here's another beautiful triangle, Centauri Triangle, Dianthus Hexagon, Ruffled Flower Square, Thistle Circle, Off Center Square. Wow, these are just so beautiful. A few more pages of these. Irish Diamond, Celtic Flower Triangle, Open Flower Hexagon, Hellenium Circle, Spinning Dahlia Hexagon, Celtic Flower Circle, Stone Crop Square, Celtic Flower Square, Star Flower Hexagon, Sneeze Wart Square, that's a unique name, Poppy Square, Dahlia Circle, Stone Crop Triangle, Chrysanthemum Square, Open Dahlia Hexagon, 
sunflower square. Now right here is where the instructions start. And I'm not going to show all of that because that's, you know, I don't wanna infringe on anyone's copyright, but as you can see, each one of those motifs has their pattern right there. And then at the very back of the book, they have some patterns for you to connect all of your different motifs together. And I think this is just such a really great book. It's so handy to have on hand, even if you just wanna add a little accent to something. You know, you could just make a couple of them. So I really love this book. I hope you like it too. And like I said, there will be a um, link down below if you would like to get your own copy. Now let's take a look at the next book. Now this next book is a great complement to the first one that I just showed you. It isn't based on flowers per se, but there are some very unique motifs and you could even mix and match them with the ones in the other book that I showed you. So this has 144 different motifs that you could make. Now I'm just going to go through this a little bit quickly. This kind of just goes through the basics like the other one about reading charts and doing your edges and you know starting in the round, ending in the round. Just your basic techniques that you need to learn to make the motifs. And it tells you how to practice your different edging and how to make it your own, which is pretty cool. And then here are some different ideas on where to place your motifs. So you could, you know, put them across the top of a bag. You could make earrings out of them, do them across the collar or the waistline, put them on a pocket. You know, you could put them on a bikini, a headband, a belt, pockets of your pants, put them on a sweater, you know, by the buttons. You know, you could do a guitar strap. I mean, there's so many ideas. I mean, earmuffs, just all kinds of ideas. I really love that. You could even put them in a frame and make some kind of a home decor. You can hang them in a doorway so they're like, you know, like the old 70s style beads hanging it down. You can decorate your curtains with them. Make a pillow, lampshades, a rug, all sorts of things you can do. So this is the circle section and I'm just going to kind of flip through just so you can get a glimpse at some of the different um, motifs that are in this book. They're all very pretty. And then after that, we have the triangle section. And then we have the section with the squares. And there's so many different ones. I mean, there's 144 different ones. So, you know, I'm sure there's something for everybody in here. And I just really think it's neat to have a nice, a really wide variety. So whatever project you're working on, I really think that's neat. Interlocking. So I would recommend both of these books. I think they're both very thorough and I'm sure they will come in handy for whatever you're making. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like to see more content like this and other crochet project ideas. So with that being said, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you like diamond painting, make sure you check out my other channel, Diamond Painting with Laura. Check it out, I have a new Patreon tier for only $2 a month. Go to patreon.com slash Corner. If you have trouble sleeping, check out my new channel, Soul Candy Cafe. Rain sounds and meditation music to help you sleep.